Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride that I introduce to you a guest that I have sincerely looked forward to seeing on the show. I watched this gentleman when he hosted our tonight show, and I doubt very strongly if anyone will meet with resistance when I say he is the most fantastic, individually, one-talented, many-faceted performer that I have had the good fortune to know for some 20 years. And he is not only a great comedian, but a very fine, very, very wonderful guy and uh, a good friend, Mr. Jack Carter, ladies and gentlemen. Chair, I'm glad to be on your show, Jake. Oh, it was nice to watch you playing games for an hour. It's amazing how time flies. With like right. yesterday, I was doing it. When did you get in town, Joe? Oh, I arrived yesterday right after the thievery. One duck, two geese, three rabbis, four pregnant porpoises, <laughs> six William Morris office agents, uh -huh. seven rabbis in full battle array, uh -huh. and 76 trombones. Miyoshi Umeki. <laughs> what? No, I ain't starting off with no Yoshi, my Shut up, Harvard. <laughs> Jerry, I've always loved your work. <laughs> you can't get behind here. We can shoot out the dust. <laughs> Just my time is your time. Yes, Bring yes. in your laundry. Oh, get out of here. Jack, sit down, baby. Well, have... All right, sweetheart. Come you on. want a more pet? You want a more pet? Happy New Year! Ah, where's the chair? I don't see a chair. Over there, over there. Hello there, everybody. Gee, it's fun to be with you. Throw me a da -da 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 -da. Gee, just what I've always wanted, that greasy hairdo. <laughs> Watch this, Jack. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Pregnant porpoises. No, no. <laughs> You're still drinking that greasy kid stuff. <laughs> you know who makes that, don't you? The little old winemaker, me! Beach John Mac L. Lewis, I say strike. Go ahead, Jackie. Oh, he's been making a little old winemaker. Now then. Hey, you finally let me on. Oh. I always say. Have a, have a, who's in there? Oh. Peg of my heart. Hey, what sponsors have you lost so far? Uh, oh. Oh? Yeah, but we got a new one tomorrow. Who? RCA. Big <laughs> Well, you blew tough tape. The sponsor's out there all taped up laying in a hallway. Is he really? Let me ask you something. Didn't you just come from Canada? Who? You. No, oh, what gave you that crazy idea? I just had nothing else to ask you. Oh, I... <laughs> I, I was... I was further... <laughs> I was further... Hey, drop that. Uh, they do little things on the side when you watch. Oh, uh, it's fun. You enjoy doing the Did show. Did you just you? do a tent? Yeah, I was there yesterday. I left my peanuts and everything in rain. Framingham, Mass? Framingham, Mass, That's... which is just two miles outside what of Newark. What did you do, like a vaudeville show? No, I worked and did what I do here. It's very oh, close to... Oh, hollering with screaming? No, I danced and sung. <laughs> you know oh. what a show I had? Oh, what? What great acts. Oh with, oh, with acts? Oh, yeah, I had four great acts. Bob and Bella Nennon. They do a great act. Did you yeah. see them? The three Simons. Yeah. No, Bob and Bill and Nenon. You know the Bob and Bill and Nenon. Bob and Billy Nenon. One duck, two Nenon. Two. Three geese. No, or well, you remember, hen. Jack, they'd like you a to bird remember the act. The hockey puck. What? No, they'd like you to remember the act. Bill, Bob and Billy Nenon. Bob and Billy Nenon. No, here. It's all right. Close the door. It's all right. I'm right. right. called in, Joe. No, no, no. Do you remember Bob and Billy Nennon? Bob and Billy Nennon. Come on, I'm leveling with you. I know Bob my and Billy Nennon. Very funny. I'm on a comb. 
Oh. No, really. What did you do, a concert? No, I danced and sang and... Made noise, nutty stick. And I also made a fortune that I turned right How over to the government. The How did you talk when I was? <laughs> five? I did. Isn't that funny, Jack? Oh, we both have wedgies, isn't that nice? <laughs> uh, is your dance you card filled? Huh? I have brown socks, you have brown shoes. We have it all wrong. What happened? Isn't that amazing how people tend to wear the same kind of stuff? Those socks, aren't they the greatest? I love long ears. I keep my knife in there that I got from Liberty Book. <laughs> But I, I have pretty... Is that my favorite kid? Yes, sir. Welcome to the pump room. Did you hear about Dolly Madison? She's making ice cream in the living room. George Washington blew his hair, you know. You know something else, don't you? Did you hear about Benjamin Franklin? He's playing with a kite. Oh, with a kite. And he's got the key to the room. But he lost the tail. He's been up 11 hours. You hear about John Quincy Adams? No. He's dead. <laughs> what did he die from? I don't know. <laughs> Probably from George Washington. Oh, could oh, you tell me? Good fun. Do you have long ease on? Yes, I have long Oh, you has long ease too. Ladies long varicose veins. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but he gets the water in there all the time. Hugh Downs open Saturday at Palisades Park. <laughs> on what ride? No, you know, it's the lifting of the oh, Jack, yeah. let me ask you a question. Kiddingly. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just close? You said something backstage about coming into town. No, I, uh, I was at a tent. You're kidding. I was at a tent. With me? You said you were going to be serious. Now, come on, smarten up, kid. I was at a tent. You did, you did the concert? <laughs> that time I got my foot. <laughs> hey, he's holding up Kamerke oh, Kylie coil. Right, excuse us just a minute. Yes. It'll be a day and a half. <laughs> one of Lynch's old. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you're... Where, which one? Where <laughs> Not that one. Which? What do you want to lose now? Uh, no, the carton. Why, the... Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. <laughs> They're not packing them. The cigarettes are fine, but they do such bad things with these loose. papers. Yes. But this is all so good, you know, in case you forget your yarmulke and chew it. Oh, right. Yes, sir, folks. L and M. That's a cigarette. Right up here, John. Out of the way, babe. Come on, sweetie. Right in there. Good, John. Let's good go. Try. Here's the hand, John. Good. You're with the Mets, too. Utility. Good. You're getting yours. That's here. You all right, Mike? <laughs> this is a comical a commercial, and uh, here's a few words from whoever's going to do this. Do me a favor. At exciting times like this, when a cigarette means a lot, you get lots more from L&M. It's the rich flavor leaf that does it. L&M has actually more of this longer-aged and extra-cured tobacco leaf than even some unfiltered cigarettes. You get more body. More body in the blend. More flavor. More flavor in the smoke. More taste. More taste through the filter. Get lots more. L&M. And with L&M's modern filter, the Miracle Tip, only pure white touches your lips. L&M's a filter cigarette for people who really like to smoke. So when a cigarette means a lot, get more body, more flavor, more taste. Get lots more from L&M. Lots more. July the hot. This is the heat of sweat of all witnesses. Do you know what a heat is in New York? There's a definite heat with hot on it. Oh, it's a hot It's a wet. muggy. It's oh, it's muggy all right. Come wet. right in. If you turn just this way a little, you'll get also. Take a picture of the family. Good. <laughs> Jesse James! Those were flip-flops. Uh, wait, let me... You want to see something funny? Look over there a second. No, legit. Look. Is this cute? The way you're standing in front of everybody when the camera's on? You didn't know it, did you? No, I didn't. You're with him, with the Mets. Out. Don't touch me, I'm drunk. No, you fought me to get away. Kill. Come home, then, can't he? Uh, Why don't you come? He was thorough. What's the matter with you? <laughs> hey, Jack, you got cigarettes sticking out of your ears. I can't hear. I got these cigarettes in my ears. <laughs> wow. You know, music is really a lot of fun. <laughs> no, I was driving. <laughs> Do not forsake me, old Claire Trevor. I'm in love with Lou Boudreaux. 
<laughs> Did you ever see a jujitsu? Well, I did. Say, you know, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the hill. I'm always chasing. Rabbi. What? Hey, Jack, seriously, you know. Seriously, you forget know. Forget it. Forget it. Oh, these were in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Look how they cross, Tell them now. Jack, would you do something for What me? did you do in a tent? <laughs> I took no, oxygen. What else? No, because, no. And now I was under an Arab tent, and and uh, I, I, I was up in. <laughs> no, I was up in. Uh, I did. I've just done uh, the uh, theater. Did you really? Yes. Then I, did you see Gwendolyn? No, I saw. I, but I saw. I I did see uh, Trevor Hart. Oh dear! Did and, you see the scar on his navel? And, uh, I saw. And, uh, I saw Tyrone Guthrie there, uh, and Guthrie McClintock. And uh, Catherine Hepburn was there. You put contacts in and now your mouth don't work. Yes, it does. <laughs> no, I ate a banana sideways. Oh, splendid, chap. Did you go to Kensington this summer? No, but I did Critics' Choice. Splendid. V, V, V. V, V. V, V. I did the part of... V, Lemon, Lemon. Oh, You're let me... You're spinning on your thigh. Let me thigh. finish. I meant no harm. That's right. Go ahead and finish. It. Finish. I did the part that Henry Fonda originally did. Hen Hank? Hank. Oh, you know her. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, I, I know, did Mike that. Mike Fordham and the amateurs. Him. Herman Fonda. Irving Would you do Fonda. me a favor and tell no, the listen. audience about Mama, please? Oh, my mother? Yeah, about the apartment. <laughs> Get I saw that. Oh, why? That's adorable. Jack, no, no. Jack's mother is... My really... mother loves his father. That's Wait, the just a second. No, you'll never work says... out, Jack. I don't want to yeah, be... Let your me brother. do it. I'm not related. I will let not be it. in your family. You make noise and you carry on. <laughs> my mother said, hey, that Jerry Lewis father, a nice looking person. Sings good too. I saw him once with Ed Solomon. And you should hear a whistle on a paper oh. route. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell, what, about what? tell him about showing Mom the apartment. I, it was uh, his mother and dad's anniversary uh, the other night. They were celebrating 12 years of marriage. And, uh... <laughs> no, no, no. 47. Uh, 47, I'm, sure. I'm sorry. I was thinking of Jan. And uh, Jan Garber. Jan Garber and yeah, his Jan Murray Orchestra. I bit Jan. Did you see me? Jan was Jan here Murray? Monday. No, huh? Oh, he's got rabies. You bit him? Yeah. Worse than you bit He's skin? got rabies. I'm a Dalmatian. A whole ear came off. No, I bit his back. Oh, you bit his back. And his belt broke and his pants have but never been... But it's fine. Up. He'll live happily ever after. Oh, no, right? he walks now like a chipmunk. Like monk. a nice, yeah, chipmunk. <laughs> so I was at the anniversary party and they had a beautiful party, herring and wine. <laughs> and uh, so at Danny's hideaway, that ain't easy. <laughs> and sponge cake, and we yelled bold Paris a few times. It was lovely. But and she kept saying, that's Jerry Lewis. Yeah, you're not... The funny bit is she has no accent. I make it up. <laughs> well, no, the funny part is Italian. she's not Jewish. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, you broke my spicky cup. <laughs> I Tell them what she said about the apartment. What apartment? Your apartment. No, that was where my wedding was. Oh. I was married. Oh, seven years you were married? Did, uh, I was married in Miami, across Indian Creek. At the home of Morris Landsberg, who owns the uh, uh, Joeville Hotel. Oh, Mar yeah. And he has this palatial home. He's got a lovely hotel there. He has a lovely home. They 47. condemned it, didn't they? Let me fend die. sorrow. Let me. One duck, two nutty boxes, three seat covers, four birds, and a matzo bry. Let me finish. <laughs> I'll be on afternoons with you. He's much too raucous. Raucous. R-O-U-K-Y-E. Siri Kyle. Oh, <laughs> Band. Go ahead, Jack. There are two Z's in raucous. So what are you Z's. putting in? Are you going to go to France with us? <laughs> I'm going over there because I want to be a painter. I want to paint my uncle's house over there. You're already, you're already lost your ear. You could be a Van Gogh. <laughs> What too cultural, too cultural. Here. My ear is covered oh. in <laughs> Your Kirk Douglas was ripped off on your eardrum here. Tell him what you... you I played in a tent in Latham, New York. Oh. Latham, that's the Albany, Schenectady, Troy. And if there's anybody up there, I wouldn't know. We didn't see them. <laughs> we had a nice empty tent every night. Four Arabs came to visit, two Syrians, and a Lebanese restaurant owner. But the only kick I got, Jerry, was uh, next door to us was a drive-in theater, and Spartax was playing. And during the scene, I used to look out and watch Kirk Douglas. Which uh -huh. is really? With Lawrence Olivier. I thought it would be funny if I read No, it is here. funny. I know what you're talking about. There's, an, uh, there's a um, drive-in theater right outside. Of, you know the International Airport, Los Angeles, when you come out of the ramp? Drive-in. They have a drive-in theater there. And uh, oh, this is, I don't know if this is terribly funny, but it's true. And um, they had the billing of a film that I made on the marquee. What I didn't know was that it was opening the next day. So they had the new billing on. So I was coming in late this evening. I got off the plane. I see the billing, 
and the screen is going that way. See, I couldn't see what was on the screen, so I drove in, and it's late, 12, 12, 15. I drove over to the manager, and I said, I'd like to just catch the last part and see how it plays in a drive-in. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, well, uh, the uh, box office is uh, closed right now. <laughs> All right, that's good. So I said, well, no, I didn't want a, a pass or anything. I would just like to see the, the balance of the picture. He said, well, uh, I'm afraid. You know the type of talker? You yeah. know, he owns a drive-in theater. Already Same guy from the restaurant. Oh, very you. close, very close. No, no, this was, a, this was an educated, this was studied carelessness with diction. But they're not too thrilled with show business. No, he, no he was a different kind of, I can't make him out. He just said, uh, there is no box office at this time, and therefore, unfortunately, I'm sorry, you cannot drive in. Especially so close. if you can back out that way and make your turn, I said, well, let me explain. See, my pic I don't figure he knows me at all. It's By dark. now you know you're an unknown. No, I know for sure that I just finished in the business. You know, <laughs> he greeted me like I opened at the RKO Oblivion or something. So I said, I'm Jerry Lewis, and my and he gave he looked down like this and he said, uh, oh, well, let me tell you something, uh, Mr. Lewis. It doesn't really make a heck of a lot of difference. <laughs> The box office yeah. is closed, Boy. and he gave me one finger on the jacket, and this Lawrence was job. his big <laughs> mistake. He said, it's closed to anyone at this hour. If you got the picture? <laughs> and I said, which way do I turn to drive to run you over? <laughs> and this man was adamant. There's no coming in. And I said, look, I know you're an angry man because three people showed up burping babies. You're taking it out on me <laughs> with pajamas running around with a dog dog tripping and everybody spitting from not finding their car. What do you want from me, you lousy nazi? I'm going in there. <laughs> and I got so steamed, I drove past him and I broke the cords. <laughs> like a real, I was a real, a sound minio in drag. I drove right in there. <laughs> and he's yelling, stop that car! <laughs> and he's chasing me, tripping over his own speakers, which was good. <laughs> when he's I yelling, get the there's car... there's nobody with him, he's alone. Stop no, that car! No, he's yelling all alone, like some guy's gonna grab with a thumb and put it on my bumper, and it sits, like Clark Kent is waiting for an announcement. <laughs> I stop the car and I put the brake on, throw the motor off, lock the doors, put the windows up, no air conditioning, I'm sweating watching Randolph Scott. <laughs> the, uh, the case comes up Wednesday. I owe him for a rope. It's funny though, doing a play and watching yourself on a screen, because my one picture was playing at the tent the night before Spartacus. The uh, horrible lieutenant, you know. And I'm, I'm in the middle of Critics' Choice. I'm doing a scene. I look out through the aisle, and there's the open tent, and there I am in the screen. So I'm going, and I never saw anything. Well, why shouldn't we? And I'm watching myself out it's the open. It's a funny picture. It's a good picture, Jack. <laughs> what? The horizontal cute? lieutenant is it's a It's cute. Beautiful it's nice. If you like I Japanese ran it for the wars, it's all No, right. it was a good movie. Funny we movie. won, you know. Oh, I didn't hear. Oh. Uh, oh, what are you drinking? What isn't there? Uh, Jack, I didn't want to get into it, but uh, I forgot we were on camera, and uh, folks, you know. It's Alcoholic. been about a year now. <laughs> Fighting it, ain't Charlie? Jack, you know, you don't kid about those th things. And uh, my impression of a Scotchman drinking a glass of whiskey. <laughs> you see? You should try this. This is really bourbon. Drink bourbon and carrot juice. You get just as drunk, you just see better, that's all. Oh, we're going over to London! Just hold it a second. I'm not going to do nothing. Face this way. Just hold it one second. <laughs> you can use a quart. <laughs> Put your fingers, two index fingers on the bar. No, each one a hand. Index fingers. Here. You want me to chin? Index fingers. I don't know where. That's it. Now turn them towards me. Hang on a bar. Now be a boy. Whistle. <laughs> 
Good, sweetheart. Good. Come back to the cafe. Uh, yes. Sure. Can do. Uh, what is that little little instrument you play? What is the what? Proper name of that little teeny trumpet. The little te it's a teeny it's a, trumpet. Teeny trumpet. Teeny tiny trumpet. No, it's actually a cornet vernet. It's it's cornet named in the vernet. French. No, cornet vernet. It's no, it's, rare, a, it's rather rare, isn't it? You know it is rare. rare. There's only three or four hundred thousand of them in America. Yeah. In, America. <laughs> in Paris, no, it's they a got trumpet two. after it met the witch doctor. That's what it There's is. There's two in Paris. Uh, Barbara what Britton and her dad them? have them. <laughs> Jerry does a lot of different... Take a little off the sides. You know? All right, sweetheart. Try and get those pads. Those are annuities from concentration in the jacket. Jerry, you're yes. going to be Saturday at Randall's Island with this thing. Yes, Randall's Island. A prisoner, they got you again. No, that's not the island. I got oh. my papers. I got Rikers, my... Rikers I'm going to play. No, Randall's I'm playing. Randall Riker, I know him well. No, Randall's Island. Oh. I.S. Elland. Randall's Island. No, it's... Can I go home now? No, Randall's Island. Randall's Island with the birds all playing. No, yeah. one yeah. hen, two Rikers. birds, a box of bees and a herman chime. Oh, that's beautiful. See, isn't that nice? Two birds, four peacocks, a busted bird. Let me tell you something. Three. Don't feel bad. This looks okay. Oh, Over oh. the years, it'll go away. Oh, Give me the hat. Let's do one. <laughs> Saturday night with Count Basie and Sarah Vaughan and Peg Leg Bates, you're Randall's go Island. To Pittsburgh in no, not on Saturday night. I'll no, be at Randall's I mean, Island. I mean, later. I, I mean, that's not my station Can't Saturday. find anything to do, right? Well, you know, you try to keep busy, you that's know what I mean? Because, you know, Canaveral needs as much help as they can <laughs> get. Well, what I wanted to mention was that well, Jerry does these different kinds of things. He does different things. I mean, oh. He does, a di he does a different, brings a different well, Jack, to a Well, Jack does the thing. same thing. It's not, yeah. it's not concert, though. No, that is concert. No, the Civic Light like Opera show. in Pittsburgh, I shall be doing concert. Yeah. Let's hear it out there from the whole four uh, At Randall's kind of Island. It's a crowd, isn't it? Yeah, Jack. <laughs> uh, Saturday Night Randall's Island is, uh, is a jazz comedy concert, which is another kind of a thing. This, of course, this kind of television I couldn't, you know, define as the same kind when we do a special or so on. A nightclub is a different kind of performance. Then when I go to a college, I do a just straight lecture or open forum on comedy or drama classes. But the Civic Light Opera, the surroundings enables uh, my... Well, Jack knows. He's played concert. This gives a comic a great frame. And any time you can deflate dignity just a little with humor, you know, the people that usually go to see uh, Tchaikovsky and these kind of things enjoy it, but you have sure. to play it cool. Randall's Island is strictly Count Basie, myself, Sarah, Peg Leg Bates, and we're doing jazz comic concert. It should, be, it should be a lot of fun. I worked with Basie a couple of times, and it's, it's a real terrific band. They should be at the Rustic Cabin a lot. The Rustic Cabin? Yeah, that's where I'm I was there during the fire. Yeah, oh, is it, I went is down it over? Right with it. Oh, it wasn't it's, supposed to be till Wednesday. It's the Palisade and the State Parkway. <laughs> it's a parkway now? It's a tornado. Oh, the group. instruments must have been broken. Yeah, there's a fellow writing in his navel here. Oh, oh, yes, it's time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Rigside. Uh, we're happy to have with us a uh, very famous celebrity. And uh, 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 this is a uh, celebrity, ladies and gentlemen, that I get big kick out of this because he went into nightclubs. I, of course, went into radio. I've been down for 40 years. Uh, How many years? Uh, 16, actually. Right, it was 16, uh, 16 years. Have yeah, you fought well, a lot of fights before yeah, you were announced? 101 fights. 100, yeah, how many did you win? I would have all but 100. But oh. uh, <laughs> this uh, celebrity, a real great guy, a wonderful kid. I uh, used to be a boxer himself, <laughs> and then he turned Cocker Spaniel. And this is a kid, uh, I like to have it born. Two Cocker Spaniels. Yeah, one, three, Three rabbis, two. four yeah, hens, eleven burns, seven and purposes, spaniels. 65 years down. And here he is, Baxi, Baxi Roosevelt. Baxi, wonderful to have you on the show. I've happy to be here as the... Uh, what are you doing, uh, making fun of me? Uh, will you try to imitate me? What is that? So wait a second. I, I think they forgot him all together, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Funny if we bring him back. Yeah, up. Up. <laughs> yeah, last time I saw Max, he was laying down. Max, he says to me, what's this? He does me so good that uh, they don't hire me. They hire him now. <laughs> I'm uh, illegitimate. Oh, he's funny. Oh, he's funny. He's got, he's a, got a radio show on the coast. Remember the time he, he has. Got, did you know that? What, you? Has he got a radio show? A radio there? show. A for paddle any, show. For anybody that doesn't have to have it tuned in clear. <laughs> you know how people miss the station and there's he a gives, little... He gives diction lessons to That's his Kushan, station. Though. The one that shakes and you can't ever get... He gives uh, diction lessons is to, right. Yeah, it's a You know, Maxie was one of the first guy, people that got a radio show. Maxie who? Maxie who? Oh, I forgot oh, who. Maxie who? You know what they say about right? Yeah, you know, a woman is like... If they had no chance to have a ride, they wouldn't. Go ahead, Jill. Rosenblum was the first guy that got arrested when they had put in the jaywalking uh, tickets, you know. And he said, when, when the officer pulled him over, he said, just tell me one thing, officer, how fast was I going? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he's beautiful. Funny, right? You know, the late Max Baer, rest his soul, was the partner. He worked with uh, Maxie Rosenblum, and Max used to 
Do you remember, Jackie, at Leon and Eddie's when they used to do the... The Sunday nights? Yeah. yeah. One night, Maxie was supposed to say to Max Bear from the ringside, I'm uh, going to just sit on and watch you, kid. Uh, go ahead. Now, I heard Max in the back. I was going to go on after them, telling Max, Maxie Rosenblum, just say, I'm going to sit here, kid, and watch you. Go ahead. That was the line. Now, Maxie doesn't have a retentive memory, you know, because he got a few clops in the head, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so Max Bear, who was, you know, a great man, but not an ad liver, nor was he anyone to digress, he got up there, he said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do a tune for you. And Maxie blanked out. And Bear looks at him, and he says, if this is your idea of a gag, we'll discuss it later with hitting. <laughs> <laughs> and he is standing there hung on the floor, and he said, ladies and gentlemen, this song is September song. <laughs> and he turned to the piano player, he gave him an arpeggio, and he doesn't know the words, and he sang what he thought would be the words. September song, evening, winter, when it's warm a lot. <laughs> My car picked me up that day in September, and so are you, Walter Houston. <laughs> Well, Max I remember the one song Max did in his act. He was trying to help Maxie out, and he was white, knowing. You remember the one was... song he did in his act? Which one? I've a super special genius <laughs> with a Lilliputian brain. Yeah. Make my losses take play horses. I tell them show a game. It's time the bell starts ringing. I start swinging like a gate. Although I got ten figures, I can only count to eight. Ah. That's all. That's good. That's very good. On a comb. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the word where, no, I didn't finish it. Get it back. Get it back there. I didn't say the end of that. Get it back there. Where's the telling me to prompt the person? Where's the teleprompter worried person? Who's pushing your paper with the words that are wrong? Make that button press till I stop to have it. To come back. People in that audience think you ain't pressing words that I should read? And now a few words from who? No, I didn't no. finish. You see, you didn't help it. Back up that paper. I don't know it's his a name. It's ocean spray oh, can. Oh, Hugh Downs is going to spray his ocean. Huggy ocean spray can. Go ahead, you. You want to leave a call, baby? Oh. <laughs> it's seven. All right, now we'd like to welcome the new sponsor to the Tonight Show, Ocean Spray Cranberry. That's an empty can. Now we hope they'll be with us for a long time. Here, <laughs> I don't know whether it looks that way now or not. They have a great suggestion for summertime. That's and shows so on good eating for your whole and family. Chicken every Sunday, cranberries every chicken, Another and cranberries packed by Ocean Spray. Hey, don't bite that. It's 